Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse and I am back for another PC accessible game spotlight video. We are taking a, ga uh, taking a look at a game that I didn't even know existed <laughs> until earlier today as I'm recording this. I saw a few people buzzing about it <clears throat> on Twitter and the game we are looking at this time is called Brock. B-R-O-K, and it took me a while to find it uh, because it was uh, B-R-O-K, not B-R-O-C-K, which I've typically seen that spelled that way, but Brock, the Investigator, and yes, it's Investigator, like, you know, alligator kind of deal, so yeah, um, it is a combination point-and-click adventure game also with beat -em up or brawler uh, elements in gameplay, which, you know what? Um, now that I've seen a couple instances, both on mobile <clears throat> and uh, even on PC here, of an accessible point-and-click adventure game, um, this is really cool, and you know I like brawlers. I've played several of those on the channel. Big fan of the Streets of Rage, Turtles in Time, or the you know the TMNT games, uh, Double Dragon, anything like that. But yeah, Brock the Investigator. Um, I did start and I played through the prologue. I got to chapter one and I stopped because I figure you know I, before I go any further, I want to see just what this game is. We'll play through a little bit of it here, and this game is on Steam. It is on other platforms, but at this time, I don't know if the other platforms are accessible to blind players. I thought I read somewhere um, that the, currently the PC version is the only one that has like the text-to-speech stuff going on, um, but that might be changing. So if that changes uh, or I learn more after recording this video, by the time I post it, um, check the description or check the comments down below um, for any sort of update for myself or from another commenter. So, before we get into the game, let's take a look at our menu options. And I should mention, when you launch the game on your PC, uh, when you launch it through Steam, and if you let it sit at the main menu for a few seconds, you'll get an audio prompt telling you to hit the space bar to if you are a blind player. Now, one thing that they do say the you see the the narration says if you suffer from blindness. I would, you know, I get what they're doing, but I I would say I would like that to be changed just because I don't suffer from blindness at all. Like blindness is not a big deal, you know, as long as something is adapted, we're cool. Um uh, yeah, I don't think we suffer um, too badly. So, you know, just maybe rewording that a little bit. But yeah, nice touch. I hit the key. And then it pops up a list of accessibility options. And it prompts you. It says, hey, if you are blind, a blind player, press spacebar again to um, activate all of the accessibility features, which I did. And then I went in and looked at the options and chose what I wanted to from there. So I have text-to-speech narration. It supports keyboard and mouse, and it actually supports the controller, which I think this is the optimal way. The controller seems like the way to play this game um, because it seems to work pretty well. I've tinkered with a little bit of both. Let's go under options. Now this menu is a circular menu, so you kind of have to figure out the orientation of where your button or where your options are. New game. So we got new game. We got to continue. New game. Load. Quick fight. Options. Let's go into options because I want to show you some accessibility. Sound. Display. Graphical settings. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Sound. Volumes. Okay. Controls. Keyboard. Mouse. Controllers. And I'm using the D-pad on my Xbox One controller or my Xbox uh, Elite controller here. Gameplay. Difficulty and other gameplay settings. Okay, and I was playing it on normal, so. Language. Text language. And the cool thing is, if you want to play it just as an adventure game without the combat, apparently you have that option too. Gameplay. So that's cool. Language. Text language. language. 
Now there is another row, so I kind of wish that maybe it would tell you if there was a way to tell you like either that it would when I hit the right arrow uh, or right on the D-pad if it would wrap to the next row first item or at least tell me like hey there's two rows here but if I arrow down we got accessibility exit game. Exit and exit game, game. so let's go accessibility on. Everything gets narrated. Interactions, menus, messages. and it almost it, it also seems like they're doing something like um, oh what is that other demo that I played last year um, that really neat little coloring book adventure game but for younger players um I can see it in my head. I can't think of it, but they had audio describe uh, audio description for the scenes, and they seem to do that in this game too. When you enter a new uh, a new scene, which is pretty cool, it helps you kind of orient yourself uh, and walk around the environment. Um, but you have full narration, and look at this. Our, look at how nice and large our text options are. That is also one of the options. But let's arrow down. Positional audio on. Characters' noise get positioned in space according to where they're located. Yep, there you go. And it's also reading the description that's down below. So it's reading you the option and the description. Kudos. Wall vibrations on. Colliding with walls vibrates to indicate their position. Okay, so if you're using a control, you get rumble. Repeat buttons on. Adds two inputs to repeat the last instructions and dialogue speech. And I think those are your triggers. Simplified rooms on. Adapt some rooms to avoid jumps and dangerous traps. Okay, so I haven't played enough of this to know how much they're simplified or how often, but that's neat that that's an option. Puzzles for blindness on. Adapts puzzles for blindness and adds more skip options. Okay, so again, I would have to go through and play this with and without um, the blindness features on or the, these puzzles. I don't know what types of puzzles we're going to get. Advanced directional inputs on. Allow to select hotspots with directional inputs, even outside the room view, for blindness. Okay, so what's neat is you can freely walk around a space, and it kind of controls like a like a diorama type of view where it's a 2D view, but it's you know like your Double Dragon, Streets of Rage, um, TMNT, where you can move up, down, left, and right. Um, that seems to be what it is so far. So you can freely move around or you can snap between interactable objects and then hit a button, like hit your A button on them, and then you'll just walk over to that item. So if you want to freely walk around and find everything yourself, or if you want to just mainly, again, play it as a snap point adventure game, uh, point and click adventure, you can. High contrast text on. Dialogue backgrounds are modified for easier reading. Yep, so I definitely did that. High contrast characters off. Player and enemies get highlighted. So I turn that I started with that on, um, but then it's kind of like your, you know, a lot of other games where they have like red and blue highlights or like silhouettes type of deal. Um, I turn that off just because for now I want to see what my character and the other characters look like. If I do have trouble in the future, I will turn that back on. But I did play with it a little bit and then I turn it off large fonts font, self-explanatory and there you go that is it Continue. so let's do let's just do a new game so you can see now again before I start I know I'm gonna get comments and I appreciate them trust me um, but you know it's like hey you should do a full let's play for this I may do that eventually you never know but again this is a totally uh, a game that is playable by totally blind players so I want to do the spotlight video and release it for you guys and then I would like because again people are always looking for more accessible games to play and so I would highly encourage you guys to go buy the game for yourselves I want to say it's 15 20 bucks I can't remember uh, but it's not too bad and um, yeah, I would encourage you because, you know, again, low vision, blind, you guys can play this as well. So I want to get you, uh, give you a tour of the game, get you hooked on it, and then you guys can play the game for yourselves. So let's go new game. New game. This will overwrite your automatic save. Yes. Continue. Yes. That's fine. Use any controls you like.
choose the action difficulty standard so we have three difficulties here relaxed enjoy the game like a regular point and click adventure skip fights button standard a blend of adventure and action hardcore want a challenge controller highly recommended Okay. Standard. A blend of adventure and action. And what I really like is I like the responsiveness just of the controls and the text to speech. Um I I don't know if it's using one of the what voice it's actually using, but I like the voice of it. Um I did install some additional Windows voices, but as far as I know, they only work for narrator. So I think it might be one of them, but I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do normal. And now we'll get into the, the game. The character you're playing is Brock. Brock is a chubby yet strong alligator person wearing a red detective coat, a black tank top, blue pants, and a purple fedora. He has a gray metal plate on his muzzle and wears a pendant shaped like a magadama and is not wearing shoes. I don't know what a magadama is. Um, huh? So there's that. A fire? Where am I? Brock wakes up in a small apartment room in fire. There's two doors, one on the right side of the room and one on the left. There's flaming debris blocking the door on the right as well as some debris around. Trouble! I'd better get out of here, fast! Tutorial, controls adapted for blindness. Most of the game will be played by selecting hotspots with directional pad and pressing A to interact. At any given moment, press LB to repeat the last instructions and LT to repeat the last dialogue speech. Oh, okay. Press A to continue. Move Brock with directional pad or left stick to interact. Press A. Move Brock with directional pad. I'd better or get out of left here. Stick to interact. So yeah, I get the text to speech tutorial with left bumper and then the character's last dialogue with the left trigger. So that's cool. I love that they have the repeat for both character and text to speech. That's awesome. Flower bouquet. A flower bouquet? I wonder who they're for. So I could freely move around like this. Button. And when I get it's cool because once I get close to something, it will tell me that I'm close to something and I can just hit A. Must be one of those trendy voice services. Just press the button and ask whatever you want. Whoa, Zap. What's going on with the electricity? Take the decorative blanket. Decoration. A decorative blanket, maybe? Looks sturdy. I should take it. You got a blanket. So they're tutorializing a little bit here for the prologue just to get you used to it. Open the inventory with start button, then select an item by pressing A. You will hear in hand which means you can now combine this item with any element in the room. Yep, okay, so there you go. Um, so I was, I was moving around freely, but I can also use my D-pad. Window, button, frame. This is... Close up, Brock sees a picture frame composed exclusively of a triangle pattern. Weird, what's this supposed to depict? To go back from a close up, press B. The same button also works in menus. Go back. Okay window i wish it was a real one but it's just a digi window so we're clearly we're in some sort of a futury uh present or futury type of uh and it's broken. world and it's broken nice okay fire so let's go ahead and open our inventory items blanket so across the top items you got items save load options and there you go. Items, Let's go down to the second row. In hand, fire. All right, we're going to use working, our... But maybe not for long. I need to get past that door. Tutorial, action mode, stuck? Fight your way through. To switch to action mode, press Y. Brock will be ready to fight and break things. You will repeatedly hear the name of the elements you can break when you stand close to them. Press A to continue. Cool. To switch to action mode, press Y, and to punch, press X. Door, 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 50%, door. And it tells the health bar of your item or whatever you're punching, be it an enemy or a door. Which seems like a living room. There are four doors, two on the left side and two on the right side. 
A device stands at the center of the room and three robots are scattered. There's flames all along the bottom of the room. Okay, we're in our new room. Robot. Looks like a multitasks tribot. Let's switch it on. Nothing. Is it out of juice? Okay, all else fails. Let's beat him up. No. Okay. Toilets. I can't access it. Oh, hopefully I can hold on a little longer. Robot. Device. Robot. Door. Bedroom. Door. Robot. Device. If I'm not mistaken, this is a meaty me. A multimedia holographic device to watch all your favorite programs and liveies for hours in the comfort of your liveies. Obviously, it won't work. Okay. Robot. Another tribot. No good. Are they broken? I always knew these were unreliable junk. Too bad. They could have helped putting out the fire. Look around the room. Try it. Try it. Welcome. <laughs> Punch it. There we go. Yikes. Unidentified user. Please provide name and function. My name? It's, uh... Alert level 5. Burglary in progress. <laughs> what the? Please remain still until agents arrive to arrest you. I'm no thief, Triangle Head. And don't you have more urgent business to take care of? Like the fire? Inappropriate attitude detected. And you can hit A uh, to advance. It stops between each little sentence. So um, just like a lot of your RPGs and older games like that. Request for applicable disposition. Database search in progress. Nice large text and good contrast in these little dialogue boxes. Network unreachable. Close. Neutralize the individual at all costs. That tin can is crazy. No point trying to reason with these things. Please don't interrupt the destruction process. Here it comes. Okay. Tutorial. Basic combat. To move Brock around during fights, press directional pad or left stick. To attack, press X. To guard, hold B. Listen carefully. Okay, B is Enemies guard. make noises which can be located by positional audio. It is okay. highly recommended that you use headphones. Press A. To continue. Fight. To attack. Press A. Eat it. Robot, kick your ass, boy. I'm glad this was the only mad robot here. Whoops. Nope, nope, not so much. Fight. like this was the last one so this is cool we get like we get experience points we get levels i'm guessing combat is going to expand it's not just going to be keep mashing x the whole time um we get audio cues even during combat beginning of end and end of combat you get audio cues where the enemies are this is really great. So, yeah, this is another... I mean, I love this because it's not only an adventure game, but now we can say, hey, guys, um, you want to make some of our uh, beat-em-ups accessible? Hey, the door just unlocked. Heck yeah, man. Tutorial. Skip fights. This fight wasn't too hard, but who knows what happens next. If you're having trouble, consider skipping the fight by holding. View button. Press A to continue. Tutorial. Skip action. You can also skip action scenes and timed events the same way. There is no penalty for skipping, but you may still want to try them once. Press A. To okay. So basically your back button or your select button, I believe is what they're saying. You hold that down. So we're going to just try to play the game as normal. Let's go to the bedroom here. There's a longer room. In the first half, there's the door Brock came in from. A giant rock on the upper part of his path and a hole in the lower half with a toppled shelf making a bridge across it. The second half of the room is more open, with a bed at the top part and a shelf beside it. Below them is a toppled part of the building with someone caught under it. <coughs> oh. 
that smoke. <coughs> That's unbearable. Well, I need to find a way out of here. Fast. Tutorial. Jumping. One. Brock is more agile than he looks. First, set yourself to action mode. Then press A to jump. Hold left stick in a direction to move while jumping. Please note, to make things easier for you, some hotspots are added near jump locations to skip them. Just interact with the skip jump or go on top hotspots. Press A to continue. Okay. Tutorial. Jumping. 2. You can jump on many elements in the rooms you'll investigate. Don't forget this when an item seems out of reach. Press A to continue. Leah's bedroom. Rock. Rocks. Where did these come from? They're blocking the way. Can't jump on the rocks, they're too high. But I can go down here by the bridge. Now, I wish there, if there was a, um, there should be an audio cue when you get close to like a pit or a hazard. That's all they would have to do is like a proximity. Like when you get like, you know, three or like three to five foot or three footsteps away, you hear an additional sound saying, hey, you're getting kind of a ledge detection type of deal. Like the last of us did it. The last of us did it. Um, audio games themselves have done it in the past. Okay, so we're jumping on the door here. Um, because otherwise, it's it, it, I'm kind of using my vision for that part of it. Just because you, if you fall in the hole, you lose health. So we're going to continue to our right. Leah! Hang on, I'm right here. It's you. Don't talk, you'll wear yourself out. I'll get you out of here. No need. Why are you saying that? You know why. I... No, I don't. What happened? Uh... Leah? That can't be good. So she's pinned under some kind of a big old... Leah! ...piece of furniture or whatever that is. She passed out. I need to help her. Quick! Leah. Collapsed furniture. Uh, uh, no way. It's too heavy. I'll need a tool to help me move the furniture. Display cabinet. A diploma? Some rewards? Medical discovery of the year? Are these Leah's? Why can't I remember? Display cabinet. Display cabinet. 50%. Display cabinet. There we go. Bust the glass of the display cabinet. Now we can get out the goodies inside. Inspect the pill reward. Inscription? Huh? I thought I saw some kind of weird inscription there. Never mind. I must have dreamt it. Rewards. Those won't help me move the furniture. Pill reward. Hmm. What if I remove that metal bar? There you go. You got a metal bar. Okay. So we know what to do. We'll pause. In hand. Collapsed furniture. Seems like the right thing to do. So. No. I'm not strong enough. Oh, your fault. What? Murderer. Okay. Leah, what are you saying? I just found you. You're gonna make it. I promise. Liar. You killed me. You killed him. Stop it. You know I'd never do anything like that. Worthless. Dangerous. How can you lie to everyone? Even yourself. Stop it, please. Shouldn't have trusted you. My son isn't safe with you. Okay. That's not true. I... I'm taking good care of him. Wait. Something's not right. Where is... 
for him and I need to focus to get you out of here. Hold on. I'll try it again. Uh, it's so heavy. Uh! <sighs> oh. No. I'm I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm just not strong enough. Should have known. That can't be good. What's going on? I... I'll get some help. Don't move. Of course. Running away. Like always. I'm not, but... You'll be judged for your sins. No. No! The ground! Is everything collapsing? And creepy prologue. <laughs> it's a dream. Brock awakens in his apartment, which is pretty small. At the bottom left corner is Brock's mattress. There's a table at the center of the room with a fridge and front door in the back. Beside Brock's mattress is the couch along the bottom wall. At the rightmost wall is another door leading to his stepson Graf's bedroom. Morning. Another nightmare, huh? Uh, I guess. Somebody called you earlier. Who? How would I know? Check your phone. Right. Tutorial. Navigating the full menu. You now have access to the full menu. There's a lot of stuff, organized by panels, which can be switched with LB, RB, LT, RT. For example, entering the menu will show your inventory, but the right panel will show your food. Don't hesitate to navigate around with directional pad to find everything. Press A to continue. Now, what's also really neat about this is when I was trying this earlier, I, when I started the game, I was playing with the uh, keyboard and mouse, and partway through, I didn't even have my controller uh, connected, and I just plugged in the USB cord for my Elite controller here. <clears throat> and when I started the game, it was giving me tutorials for keyboard and mouse, but then the moment I picked up the controller and started using buttons on my analog stick and whatnot with it, uh, future tutorials just automatically were like, oh, you're using the controller now. So it automatically gave me button prompts for the uh, controller. So you don't necessarily have to choose. You can just pop, you know, go back and forth in between and it will uh, recognize whatever input method you're using. So they clearly put a lot into this accessibility um, update because I, th I don't, I got to look at the Steam page to know when this actually came out. Um, but one of the reasons that this was kind of trending on my Twitter feed today was because they had just released this. I think it was like a 1.3 patch update or something that added all of this accessibility. And so, yeah, clearly whoever the developers were working with, uh, on, uh, making this work, uh, it, they put in a lot of effort here. Uh, about the only thing that I could say that I can think of so far is to have, those sort of um, ledge indicator audio for pits and things that were or like if you fall in a pit or spikes or fire or whatever. But uh, let's continue. We'll play a little more. Whoa. Six phone calls from the same guy. I better call them back. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, I keep forgetting. Finally. Yeah. I thought you'd never reply. Yeah, sorry. I uh, had uh, personal issues. <laughs> so tell me, your name is Sin? You need my services? Of course I do. You're my last hope. Please, come to my apartment. 
I've sent you the address. Wait, aren't you gonna tell? There's no time, and the line could be tapped. Okay. Hurry. Yeah. Uh, uh, why do I only get weird clients? <laughs> Fair enough. I better get ready. All right. So this is as far as I got when I was checking out the game before recording the video. And in retrospect, I probably should have just, especially once I got to that main menu, I should have just fired up the recording so I didn't have to do this part twice. But um, it is cool going through it. You know, again, I played a little bit with the keyboard and mouse and now the controller. So I love that when you woke up, the first thing you got is this description. You know, you're like, oh, the bed is in the lower left. The uh, fridge and whatnot is in the upper part of the screen. The, you got some couch or something on the lower part. So, you know, again, if I wanted to try and navigate, like I said, navigate this. Add, bed. Add, picture, add. Oh, an ad. This probably came up with a chili con insect I ate in bed last night. Yeah. You got an ad. Woohoo, aren't I special? Okay, I got to Collect ads. Brock's phone is hungry for ads. There are three adverts hidden in each location. Use them to get hints when you're stuck. To use an ad, oh. check the, right corner on the first page of the menu. Next to your money and messages, press A to continue. Okay. Oh, well, that's an interesting mechanic. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to our phone. So we have... Money, apartment key. Items. Food. I have tabs across the top that I can hit A on. Items, apartment key. Down a row, I've got an apartment key and a pendant. And a pendant. Let's see what that is. Oh. Apartment key. But if I go to the phone again, if I go down another row. Sixty unis. Okay, so our unis is our currency, I guess. Call. I can call people. Messages. One, Messages. Two. Sin. Urgent. I need help today. I got a job for you. Please come to my apartment ASAP. Center Basic Five Hundred Sixty Eight, Apartment Fifty Four. The code to enter the front door is four zero nine eight. Hurry. 4098. Okay, we're going to need that eventually. And our, they didn't go for traditional uh, first uh, code 0451. <laughs> okay, so we, we got a solution for a future puzzle already. Money. Call messages. Come stuck. Get a hint. So then we can get a hint there, but we don't we don't want to do that. So let's go back out and let's just explore here. I bet. Well, rather mattress i guess huh. good enough for me don't have much time to sleep anyway fair magnifying glass what would a detective be without a magnifying glass not exactly high tech but that's how i like it or just take your phone and use it as a digital magnifier because it's way better i should take it yes you should you got a magnifying glass yay Picture. okay close up a family picture. Brock is smiling and holding Leah while Graf is younger and appears happy. Leah's smile is strange. She seems bitter about something. Hmm. Okay. I can't make any sense of these nightmares. It didn't happen that way. I wasn't there. Yeah, so I'm already sort of intrigued about this whole Leah thing, and clearly he's got these guilt-ridden dreams. Picture. Picture. <clears throat> and this is cool because... W <sighs> Uh, Stories of Blossom, that's the game I was trying to think of earlier. Um, you know, that game, it's a it's purely a point-and-click adventure puzzle game, um, but it's for younger players, and now we're getting another point-and-click adventure, and we get a brawler elements in there, and this seems to be, you know, a little bit more mature, uh, you know, maybe a teen-rated type of thing, so you get a little bit more of a mature plot. Graf is a great teenaged cat with a big nose, wearing a red hoodie and baggy pants. Contrary to Brock, he has some sneaker shoes. Hey, huh? how are you doing? Don't you have some errand? Don't mind me. But I just want to have a little chat before I go. All right, what is it? Talk with Graf. Think. Graf. What? Think. Exit. Show items. School. Graf. How are you lately? So that was another one of those circular menus. So 
I don't know if there could be like an audio cue to kind of indicate, oh, this is a regular menu or, you know, again, like your phone is in your inventory or more like grid based. And then you have some things like your dialogue here um, that is like your main menu, which was the uh, wheel type. Um, so maybe having like a cue for those um, type of menus just just to make it easier for a blind player to know, oh, this is the type of menu I'm navigating. But it's not too hard to figure out. I'm okay. You're sure? You don't seem very... I said I'm okay! Got it? Ooh. Somebody's a little grumpy. Right. Damn, man. He's stressed out. Talk with. Graph. School. Graph. School. How come you're not at school? You mean the consciousness center. Whatever. It used <laughs> to be called school in my day. I'm taking it 10. My eco-manager teacher broke his ankle. He doesn't have a medi tribot. Can you believe it? We don't either. Yeah, but that's only because you're poor as a church mouse. School teachers are drummers. Okay. Bunch of arrogant people who can't move a finger without a doohickey to help them. Yeah, you married one. Yeah. Right. Your mom was different. Talk with. Graph. School. Boy, we're getting some uh, not so friendly vibes for our old stepson here. Now I wonder if I if I go there again. I wonder if it'll give me something different. I know I haven't been there a lot lately. Yeah, we do. Okay. Work. No problem. It's your life. But you're a part of it. Even if we have no blood ties. I'm in the middle of a game. Did you really interrupt me for that claptrap? Yeah. <sighs> Talk with. Graph. This topic is exhaustive. Oh, nice. And it, oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay. Let's... I mean, the conscience. The fair is today. <laughs> what fair? The science fair. Don't tell me you already forgot. Oops. Oh, uh... Yeah, I did. It's in the regulations. The presence of a parent or tutor is required for the vote. Okay. You must be there at five o'clock. Good to know. Okay, okay. I'll come. I promise. <laughs> you better. Talk with. Graph. School. This topic is exhaustive. Oh, I really like that, because then I don't have to guess and re-listen to dialogue I already heard. Graph. Very this nice. Is this is Graf. I've been taking care of him since his mother died five years ago. Okay. I can't believe it's been that long. I've been so busy trying to make ends meet, I've barely seen him grow up. I like the echo for your thought kind of thing. You heard that even when you that was intermixed with the dialogue. There's just all kinds of nice little audio touches that make you know I could see things being displayed visually or whatever in other games and again it's pretty seamless in how it's both adding um character or you know adding immersion but also accessibility this is really good Talk with. Graph. The exit. Show items. Nah, i don't think we need to do that right Here. now all right so let's see what else we got in this room yeah Graph. bed picture fruit cup Pompalos fruits. These cost a fortune and are full of chemicals, but I like to eat real food. Okay. We got Pompalos fruit. Fresh Yay! Fruit. I got food. Percent of pesticide. Restores twenty-five percent health. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll leave the other one for Graf. Okay. You know I don't like those. But you gotta eat solid stuff. You can't grow up with sodas. I mean, can't I? <laughs> Picture. Fruit cup. Take it? Yes. No. No. Oh, okay. So we can... Okay. I already took a Pompolo's fruit. Should be enough. Picture. Fruit cup. Dish. It's your turn. What? Already? Didn't I do it yesterday? No. Last week. Man. Time flies. I don't have time to do the dishes right now. As usual. Meh. Close. Dish. Auto clean tribot. Hey, what's going on with the auto clean tribot? 
Don't know. Been stuck like that since morning. Maybe I should. <laughs> I love this Zolt. Electrocuted me. Oh well. Looks like we're both stuck at home today. Impossible. I need to get rid of it. Exit. Picture. Fridge. Hmm. Not much left. Tutorial. Selecting hotspots. Several hotspots are very close. Can't select the one you want? To switch from one to another use. Directional pad. To move a pointer freely you can use. Right stick. Press A. To continue. Ah, okay. Cheese. Ugh. Goat cheese. Gross. I buy these for graft. I refuse to eat something produced by another person's body. Gross. Yeah. Hey man, don't be dissing. I don't like goat cheese, but uh, regular cheese, mmm, everything make a, a, cheese makes anything better. Regular cheese, man. Drink. Ah, I remember. Someone paid me with this energy drink. I'll take it. I get thirsty on the way. You got Helios energy drink. Concentrated helium for extra energy. Yeah. Boost strength for thirty seconds. Oh, cool. Cheese. Fridge. Ad. What's that? Some kind of paper. Yep, that's an ad. Must have come with the food we bought. You got an ad. Yay, another Cheese. ad. Picture. Close up. Picture. Picture. Cheese. Auto clean try that. Exit. Auto clean egg picture. The other thing when you're using your D-pad, you don't want to just go left and right um, because sometimes you will miss something. So sometimes you, that's why I'm repeating some things. You kind of go up and down, left and right. Fruit cup. Dish. Close. I know it's a mess, but I'm used to it now. Got to make the best out of each tiny bit of space available. Okay. Graph. Fruit cup. Dish. Close. Add. Oh, there's an ad under my clothes. Yeah. That could be useful. You got an ad. Boy, I, I find that really funny is they actually found a way to make ads useful. Uh, I avoid these stupid things like the plague in real life and... Everything there's ads everywhere, and even when you pay to sk skip ads like YouTube Premium, everyone is hawking hey. their own random crap. So let's go into hey, our bedroom. Where do you think you're going? Ooh, somebody's pissed. Um, your room? Yes, my room. All right, all right, but I gotta clean it sometimes. Eh. No, we have an auto clean tribot for that. Yeah, if it were working. Close. Okay, he got a little cranky about Bread. that. Bed. Fixed fruit cup. Dish. Close. Bedroom. Okay, it looks like that's Apartment. all we can do. Let me Apartment. see what we got in here. We got... Money. Apartment. Magnifying glass. Uh, let's see if I can use that on... Auto clean tribe. Not sure I can get rid of it with that. It's too short. I might touch that dangerous machine. Exit. Can't. That cleaning bot prevents me from reaching the handle. Auto clean try that. Exit. Picture. Fridge. Musical instrument. Hmm. When taking a closer look, it's exactly the same. Hey, this is really dirty. I'm just straining my eyes for nothing. Using his favorite magnifying glass, the detective finds nothing. Uh. Punch and bag. Ah, my good old sparring partner. It's had rough days, but I'm still kicking. Whenever I feel like hitting something, it's there for me. I can gain some experience by throwing a few punches. Ooh, Except let's do that. Fighting position. Okay, little hint there. Let's do it. Punch and bag. Mag punch and bag. Mag punch and bag. Mag punch and bag. Mag punch and bag. Punch and bag. Punch and bag. Punch and fifty percent. Punch and bag. 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 Okay. You're such a lout. Eh. Okay. Punch and bag. Maybe I should put it back up. Put it back? Yes. 
punching bag. Bed. Plant. I bought it to bring some oxygen to the room. But it looks like it's dying. Putting a plant in an underground apartment wasn't such a good idea. Bed. Plant. Punching bag. Plant. So we do have some kind of a puzzle. We got to fix this bot or move it or something. Picture. Um, I don't know. Like, I want to be able to get to more actual fighting. I want to see more of how the brawler part works. But again, I didn't want to play, you know, get into the game and then start too much later because I don't want to spoil the story. And I want to, again, encourage you guys to play this for yourself because by this point it's pretty clear that if you are totally blind or low vision this is really playable and I'm kind of getting into the whole like I like the characters so far I've got a couple you know I'm like boy the the my main character and uh my stepson don't get along um something's up with his wife or whatever that died we got a mystery case that we need to do um all kinds of stuff so fruit cup yeah dish close is there anything else so auto exit cheats frick stick oh how did i miss that this belonged to grandpa he barely used it to walk but he taught me to fight with it aha uh -huh. you got a stick yay frick. Music. Okay, so now apartment key, money, six apartment Mac Enda, stick in hand, fruit cup, exit, auto clean try. Yes, good idea. But when I want to destroy something, I should put myself in action mode first, then hit it. Oh. Exit. Auto clean try. Auto clean try. Ah. Object. Sorry, little bot. <laughs> Great. Who's going to do the cleaning now? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll have Shay fix it. You got a cleaning bot. Okay. Mm, the tank is full. They collected a lot of fur. Must be what caused the issue. Not my fault. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, you shedding beast. Oh, no. Shouldn't have touched it. Now I'm covered in cat fur. Yeah. You got it. Cat fur. Okay. While well, we exit. Hallway with a corridor that juts to the upper part of the screen towards two doors. In the middle of the room is a glass bulletin board. The exit is a staircase that doesn't completely cover the right part of the room. Brock's Hall. Brock's apartment. Yeah, I can easily see myself getting into this. I am digging this. Because the problem with point-and-click adventure games back in the day, I've played a few of them. Like, I really liked Sanitarium. That was a probably one that not a lot of people played, but I, I really liked that one. Um, but the problem that I had with a lot of the adventure games back then were they were, A, they were so obscure. It's like, you know, oh, combine this item and that item and use it on these items. And, like, you wouldn't even think logically. It was just some weird mental thing of like well just try everything with everything else because everything is so bizarre um <clears throat> but the other thing was it was literally kind of a pixel hunt you know it was a visual thing of you know depending on how detailed the environment was um Apartment key. you Three, could select shush a, two, yeah i know press y two combine press x oh that's cool i didn't even know that you could do okay um, but anyway, like I said, depending on how detailed the environment was, it was really easy to miss either finding something that you were supposed to interact with or finding something that you were supposed to pick up. And so it was kind of difficult. But again, you know, I've covered one or two mobile games that have been um, point and click adventure games. And I, again, I can't remember the names of them off the top of my head, but there was another sort of a detective game that I really liked um, from a couple of years ago. And then Evidence 111 was sort of a more dialogue-based point-and-click adventure type of deal. But, um, you know, again, then we had the one that I mentioned earlier that I forgot the name of again. Um, but that's going to be coming out later this year, hopefully. 
And so I really love, again, game accessibility. You know, we've got our genres that we like. You know, I like my action games. I like my my brawlers, my first-person shooters, um, action-y games, but turn-based RPGs or point-and-click adventure games, things that I find a little bit more difficult typically. Maybe it's not so much that I didn't care for the genre, but um, it's just the fact that, uh, hey, if I can actually more easily play them, who would have thought I might actually be able to get into them? So this is fantastic. I know we're not getting to see a lot of the combat. Um, you know, you got to see me use a punching bag, beat up a couple things. I mean, very little combat so far. But again, think of, you know, think of how you would play a beat 'em up or a brawler. Um, and that's kind of what this seems to be. It seems like they're going to layer on mechanics. We've already got a thing where we can restore health. We can increase our um damage or whatever with our what does that energy drink do again cat fur, cleaning box magnifying pendant ma cat fur, apartment key Wait, oh it's under food helios energy drink campylos fruit you own one a beast fresh fruit only five percent of pesticide helios energy drink you own one a beast concentrated helium for extra energy Boost strength for 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, strength. So basically your attack power. But yeah, um, I think that's where we're going to end it. Just because, you know, this is already a long video. But you've gotten to see a couple of puzzles. You've gotten to see a tiny bit of uh, combat. But I, I think this is going to primarily be an adventure game. And maybe the more you get in, the more you're going to get into the fights and everything. But um yeah, I like I said, I really and it, it, it's not a pure audio game. You know, there are full visuals there. You could turn all the accessibility features off and play this visually if you wanted. I like the cartoony art style. Um, the interface is clean. Uh, I just have so many positive things to say about this game. What little I've played about it so far. So. Maybe I will come back and I will give some more impressions during either like a stream if I do one or if I do a, um, you know, a channel update video and I can just kind of say, hey, I've played more of this game and this is what I think or this is what, you know, I've, what happened. Um, but again, yeah, this is a spotlight video and it is called Brock the Investigator. It is on Steam and it is blind accessible. Uh, I am curious to see if and when it does become accessible on other platforms. Because that would be really awesome if that were to happen elsewhere as well. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say I highly recommend this so far. And I'm glad I finished uh, Hogwarts Legacy because I am thinking I'm recording this on a Thursday night and I'm thinking I know what I'm going to probably play a lot of this weekend. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did and definitely go and support the game. Again, I encourage you, since this is accessible, pick it up and play it for yourself as well. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. Twitch.tv slash Illegally Cited. Illegally Cited.com. And right here on YouTube. Until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.